Gentlemen, have you ever wondered if you're a low-value man? Well, today we're about to demystify that for you. In a world where value is often equated with success, it's crucial to understand what it means to be a low-value man. This doesn't just refer to monetary worth, but also to one's character and actions. We're going to explore seven telltale signs that might indicate you're a low-value man, helping you understand where improvements may be needed. Let's dive into the first sign. Sign number one. You always want to go Dutch. Now, going Dutch isn't inherently a bad thing. In fact, it's a common practice in many cultures and relationships. However, it becomes a sign of a low-value man when it's done excessively and without consideration for the other person. Imagine a situation where your date has forgotten her wallet or is going through a hard time financially. A high-value man would step up and cover the bill, not because he has to, but because he wants to show kindness and understanding. On the other hand, a low-value man would insist on going Dutch, disregarding the circumstances. This behaviour reflects a lack of generosity and empathy, two key qualities that contribute to a man's value. Moreover, it may also hint at a deeper issue of financial insecurity or a fear of being used, which can be quite unattractive. I, for one, believe a man should pay more in a relationship. It doesn't make sense to go 50-50 with your partner in a relationship you know why. Contrary to what society wants to say, men and women aren't built the same and can never be, not biologically, psychologically, etc. So, if you're always insisting on splitting the bill, you might want to reconsider. The second sign is being flaky. This is a trait that manifests in various ways. It could be in the form of broken promises, ghosting, or just general unreliability. It's like being a leaf in the wind, blown in any direction without a firm stand or commitment. This behaviour is detrimental to relationships. It erodes trust and respect, the two pillars that relationships stand on. Imagine making plans with someone who never shows up or keeps changing plans at the last minute. It's frustrating, isn't it? It sends a message that you're not important or valued. The partner at the receiving end often feels disrespected and taken for granted. This can lead to resentment and eventual disconnection. In essence, being flaky is a clear sign of a low-value man. It's a sign that screams, I don't value your time or feelings. Remember, reliability is a virtue that denotes value. The third sign is, you're a party animal. Now there's nothing wrong with enjoying a good party. A celebration here, a night out there, it's all part of life's joy. But when the party never ends, when every night is a haze of neon lights and pounding music, it's a sign of a low-value man. See, a party boy lives for the thrill of the moment, ignoring the responsibilities of the day. He's always chasing the next high, the next laugh, the next drink. It's a lifestyle that can be detrimental, leading to a lack of focus, a lack of growth and a lack of stability. The party boy is often viewed as immature, unreliable and even selfish. Remember, it's not about condemnation, but about understanding the signs. Living for the party might seem fun, but it isn't a sign of maturity or value. The fourth sign is laziness and lack of depth. Now, don't get me wrong. Everyone enjoys a good football game, an exciting video game, a cold beer or some downtime now and then. But when these activities become the entirety of a man's existence, we're looking at a red flag. A man of value recognises that life is more than just immediate pleasures. He seeks to engage with the world around him, to learn, to grow. He cultivates a passion, nurtures a hobby or pursues an interest that gives his life depth and dimension. This lack of depth, this laziness, is like a ripple effect. It doesn't just impact the individual but those around him as well. Relationships suffer, potential remains untapped and opportunities for growth are missed. Remember, a man's value isn't determined by how he spends his leisure time, but rather how he uses his time to contribute, to grow, to learn. Spending your time wisely and developing depth shows value. Now before we go into the fifth sign, please take a moment to click the subscribe button to join the curious community. Like, comment and share if you find this video helpful, which I am sure you would. The fifth sign, you thrive on manipulation. Now this is a significant one. Manipulation, in its simplest form, means controlling or influencing a person or situation to your advantage, often unfairly or dishonestly. And if you find yourself resorting to this kind of behaviour, it's a clear sign you're a low-value man. Let's dive a bit deeper. Examples of such behaviour could be making someone feel guilty to get what you want, or twisting the truth to suit your narrative. 
You might play mind games or try to control people by playing on their fears and insecurities. You see, manipulation is about gaining power and control, not about fostering genuine, respectful relationships. But here's the thing. High-value men don't need to manipulate. They communicate openly, honestly and directly. They respect others and are secure in themselves. So, if manipulation is your go-to strategy, it's time for some serious self-reflection. Manipulation is not a trait of a high-value individual. The sixth sign. Bad personal hygiene. If you neglect your personal hygiene and physical fitness, you're signalling to the world that you don't value yourself enough to take care of your own body. It goes beyond just having a bad body odour or unkempt hair. It's about the overall neglect of one's health and appearance. Think about it. If you don't brush your teeth daily, it's not just about bad breath. It's about potentially damaging your teeth and gums, which can lead to serious health issues down the line. If you don't maintain a regular exercise routine, it's not just about being out of shape. It's about jeopardising your health and well-being. Self-care is not a luxury. It's a necessity. It shows that you respect yourself enough to keep yourself in good health and good shape. It's about understanding that you're worth the effort. So remember, bad personal hygiene is a sign of low self-value. Taking care of yourself physically is a sign of self-respect and value. Now to the last sign, you lack gentlemanly skills. Now this isn't about being old-fashioned or overly formal. It's about showing respect, consideration and thoughtfulness. For instance, if you're the type to walk ahead and leave her behind, or the type who doesn't bother opening doors for her, you're showing a lack of these essential skills. Not offering your jacket in cold weather, or not ensuring she gets home safe, these are little things that make a big difference. These small acts of kindness reflect a man's character and value. They show that you're attentive, considerate, and that you value the comfort and well-being of others over your own convenience. These are the traits of a high-value man. So remember, being a gentleman isn't just about following societal norms, it's about showing respect and consideration for others. And that, my friends, is a sign of a high-value man. Another bonus sign is you are a playboy. You think you are sleek, huh? Fortunately for you, we won't dig deep into that sign, but just know that's a low-value man trait right there. So there you have it. Seven signs you might be a low-value man. Now it's time for some self-reflection. These signs aren't a life sentence, but a call to action. Now it's up to you to take these signs and make the necessary changes to become the high-value man you are meant to be. Until next time, gentlemen, stay soulfully synergized.